Are you an Aquarius, Venus, Ascendant, Moon? May it be Western astrology or Vedic Sidera astrology, then probably this is the reading for you. If you are dealing with someone who you feel like there is an unfinished business, who you are scared to reconnect again, and if you are someone who's watching on the other side of the uh, of this relationship where you are wondering why is the Aquarian not responding and why they're not talking to you, then this must be your reading. So coming up next is your reading. Aquarius. Aquarius is like the northern star. It's the brighter star in the constellation and it gives you direction and purpose in your life. I want them to push their limits, break barriers and walls, and step out of their comfort zone. The pink and titanium wish crystal is for their unbreakable will and courage. I've made a six crystal collection for the aquas. Some are tumble and some are raw, and it covers all the different aspects of their personality that I want to highlight. A must have for my altar is an offering bowl. I want to share the sun, moon offering bowls to the Aquarians so they can start their manifestation ritual early for the coming 2021. Aquarians is like your childhood friend who you haven't seen for years. But when you see them again, it's like no time has passed. Hi Aquarians, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sit down, sit down, sit down. So if you guys saw, we changed a little bit of stuff over here so we can get right into the reading. You already know the summary before you even go here. Bravo. But make sure you check out your own Astro Pouch, which is already available. So do check it out. It's available on our website. It's for your own zodiac. May it be Western or Sidereal Vedic Astrology. Sorry if I'm sniffling. Okay. It's just a cold weather. Okay. So um, make sure you do check it out. And it, I'm going to put it in the comments. Okay, so Aquas, let's begin with your oracle card right here. Okay, I'm gonna do the tarot and then we're gonna do this one, the little scary one. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Okay. You have to be fair. Mm -hmm. You have come to the edge. You have chaos and conflict. Okay, so this alone, I can tell that you're figuring um, something out that basically you have been uh, left with no choice. Uh -huh. Your... Uh, your it feels like no matter what you do there is no winning because um, it's matters of the heart it feels like you have to be the bigger person you have to take a chance and in order for this to happen everything has to change everything so back into a corner Things may not be in your favor, but you have to do it because change is inevitable. Okay, so this is what you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. Now you can apply this into your career, your finances, you cannot, but this is romantic, of course. This is what I'm seeing right now. You do have, um, you know, you could be probably assisting or helping this person out, which is the person. Yeah, the person. Loyal heart. So it means that you are being your the relationship is being tested. You have to be the stronger person. You have to be their arm and leg and you know like the support. You're the foundation of this person. My foundation is because I have a commercial earlier. <laughs> okay. So I was in another studio. <laughs> That's my foundation. But yes, mm -hmm. you're left in with no choice in this relationship to be the one that they can count on. You could be the meal meal provider, the homemaker. Um, the breadwinner, um, but you could also be the one promote, uh, promoting, um, helping them with emotional support, um, uh, you know, spiritual stability, um, loving energy. So you're trying to do all those. 
but you are already, you know, coming to the edge over here. Like, what more can I give with regards to love? Because you do know that if you do not, it's just going to be chaotic. You're trying to also put this thing under the rug. It's like, all right, okay, fine, I do it. I do it. Who else is going to do it anyway? Let me be the bigger person. Because one, you do have the loyal heart. Amazing. Let's see now this. Um, now this is, uh, this may not be for everybody. This is a card for not the high and mighty because we're all imperfect trying to be gorgeous, basically. So this is something that you need to work on. Okay. Ooh, Temple of My Buddy. Okay. So ask yourself right now, what are you doing mm -hmm, to yourself? May it be, because this is about your body. So it can be overwork, not getting enough sleep, not getting enough the right food, um, rest and relaxation. When was the last time that you took care of your temple? Because if this is the temple, I mean, we need to adorn it also, right? Temples are, you know, they put all these wonderful things. So do you appreciate yourself? Ask yourself, what have you been doing for your body? Okay. So this can be reflective of your diet, reflective of even, um, you know, respecting your boundaries with other people, you know. So hopefully there's not, we don't go there. But yes. So she feels like she has been um, taken advantage. Your buddy is being abused. Can be also that there is a, um, you know, like uh, you you have been overly Overly overdoing something with your body, okay, whatever that be, can be eating habits, unhealthy eating habits, you know, too much sugar, just like me. Mm. Okay, so let's see what your tarot has. This is your tarot. Okay. Now I just get sniffles every time because it's so cold here and I don't have the heater. Let me see. Now, this is going to be the aqua over here, the joiner over here. So, the way it works, we can't switch the roles. Um, sushi roll, okay? If you keep switching roles, you'll just wind up in Tarot World um, watching Tarot Forever. So, the joiner will not be a cross-watcher because they're not switching it, okay? If you want to switch, it's not going to work out. You're always just going to look for the victim side and you're going to resonate to any reading because you're the victim, right? Mm -hmm. You have the King of Wands and they have the Nine of Pentacles. You're very passionate about yourself right now. You feel all the drive. Everything is go, go, go. That's the King of Wands. The King of Wands is also a person who, um, who is very much confident. I mean, like you are attractive. You, you don't have any problem finding a partner. You are confident. You know where you stand in life. You have dreams. You have ambitions. You have goals. Now, your person of interest is, uh, you know, the joiner, single, healthy, good-looking. See, that's the true reality. People date who they like, and why would we bash the other so that you get the glow up? That's why a joiner will be respected here. So if you are a joiner, welcome. I'll give clarity to you too. Huh? Nine of Pentacles here. It shows that, you know, the joiner is... Uh, um, they don't need no one to... <laughs> Because they want, but they want someone to share their future that's ideal for them because they're ready for the Ten of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Provided that they would let go of their career or things that makes them busy, such as their day-to-day because -day, Nine of Pentacles is very busy. They're very busy about their stability, coins, work. Your card here is the High Priestess and it feels like you, okay, Aqua, has a hangman. Um, is you, you have a major arcana. There are things that you'd stop talking, you know, stop revealing to this person. The high priestess is, okay, right here. Mm -hmm. The high priestess is a person who conceals things. You know, it's like, well, if they ask, I would tell. It's not about dishonesty. You just, for you, it's just like, well, we don't have any reason to talk right now. We don't have any reason to communicate. If they come at me, I'll talk to them. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an open book. You know, Aquans, they don't keep secrets anyway. But high priestess right now, they feel like, of course, you're going to keep secret because you have been delaying things. They have been waiting for a word from you, Aqua. Because the hangman is just like, okay, what is the Aqua doing? Why have they been not responding, delaying things, and not making a decision? The high priestess knows what to do, though. They're very smart. The high priestess is smarter than the magician. The magician has all the show, right, on the table. High priestess doesn't need a show. She already done the show, okay? She just needs to be 
you know, if you if you consult me, and then I will tell you. That's a high priestess. Okay. Oh, a flipper. But I already flipped this for you. You are mm -hmm, having the oh, and four of wands. Oh, I feel like I want to put this in the middle. We've never done it, but maybe this is the first time in the start the uh, sun because there's a sun here. Okay, and then there's a devil. Okay, so. It feels like you, Aqua, are very empowered right now. Your dreams, your goals, you're really like, go. I want to do this. I want to make this happen. You're finally finding your place in the world, okay? This person, your joiner, of course, has this um, attraction towards you. It takes two to tango. You're addicted to them. They're addicted to you. There is obsession considering the devil is here. They like how you shine, how you glow, how you grow. Mm-hmm. In the central over here, there is a four of wands. So there is a commitment between the two of you. But, okay, there's a big but. I feel like it is in balance. Either you keep giving, because a star will keep shining, and they keep taking here. But the thing is, they just want you. For whatever reason, this person can be intimacy, emotional support. They make, you know, you make them feel good. Mm -hmm. You have an Eight of Swords over here and the Six of Cups. All right. So how does it work here? So it feels like you are scared for, I mean, I, I feel like you're scared to have a connection again with this person. So something about them, you got burned before. You got burned. Mm -hmm. You got burned. Mm -hmm. Four of Cups. The joiner has rejected you before. It can be because it was long distance. It can be because the the world and the Capricorn card, this is basically a Saturnian lesson. So the relationship was too heavy and they didn't want it. So they said, no, I don't want it anymore. But no matter what this person does, they can't stop thinking about you. The joiner still wants you. You are paranoid about the connection. Eight of Swords and a Six of Cups. You do not know. What's going to happen? And anything, of course, uncertain makes you fearful. What you know right now is like, well, I'm in a good spot in my life. I have the star. I have the high priestess. I'm manifesting. I'm making my gains. I'm making my dreams come true. I'm all about myself right now, which is good. It's not about selfish. But you guys have unfinished business. Four of Wands right here. You got Pisces, Aries, Cancer, Scorpio. Where did that come from? I don't know where that, but they said it. You got Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Capricorn, okay, and Aquarium. All right, so I'm going to continue this reading, guys. Link down there in the description box below. Make sure you check out your Astro Pouch. This is custom made, so I make it per order. So you just have to slow your roll with the order and then come here and then help me make it. Okay, thank you very much, guys, for watching. And I'll see you guys again. Bye. Well, that aligns your physical body to your spiritual side. Each ascent corresponds to a specific chakra point. Lavender is associated with the crown. That aroma gives us a higher state of consciousness. Green tea lemongrass helps your third eye to gain clarity of thought during meditation. Seven candles, seven scents, seven chakras, seven ways to balance yourself.